I continue to talk about the most interesting and promising projects of modern Russian engineering. This time we will talk about the Pegas Auto Company and its unique agricultural machines for Russia. The Pegas Agro Company from the city of Samara is known throughout Russia for very interesting and unusual agricultural machines called FOG. This is a very successful technique and Pegas Agro is one of the most profitable and rapidly developing companies in Russia. She recently built a new factory from scratch. Because agricultural machines FOG, designed for fertilization and chemical protection of fields, are in very high demand. Because they managed to be made both inexpensive and effective. A quarter of a century ago, several graduates of the Samara Aerospace University began to make machines for processing fields and with their help fulfill the orders of farmers. And soon these same farmers asked to sell this equipment, because of which the idea was born to organize production. Thus, the FOG-1 fertilizer application machine entered the Russian market of agricultural machinery, and the company created for its production was named Pegas Agro. FOG-1 was made as light as possible and with a high level of maneuverability, since fertilizers begin to be applied in early spring, as soon as the fields are freed from snow, which is why they resemble swamps in which absolutely any equipment gets stuck. Today, the FOG family includes three basic models, which are three axle wheeled chassis for the installation of body modules. The modular scheme was adopted even for the very first model, FOG-1, in the design of which it was possible to replace the boom sprayer with a fertilizer spreader. Then, as the family developed, three more modules were added to them. A multi-injector for root treatment, a pneumatic seeding module and a fan sprayer for field edge treatment. Produced today, the lightest in the FOG-1M family, this is the heir to that very first FOG, it even retains the ability to use treadless shell tires. The aggregate base of the Neva Compact sub, widely known in Russia, is widely used in the design. A gasoline engine with a capacity of 80 horsepower, a gearbox and main gears with center differentials. This is the simplest model in design. It has a classic steering, steerable wheels, only the front wheels, and a chain drive of the rear drive wheels. Due to its low weight, FOG-1 has the lowest pressure on the ground. Only 0.25 kg per square centimeter. The newer and more modern FOG-2M with a pressure on the soil of 0.4 kg per square centimeter is technically more advanced. Its design uses a Chinese-made Isuzu turbody vessel with a capacity of about 100 horsepower and a Chinese manual gearbox. To improve maneuverability, the wheels of not one, but two of the three axles are made steerable. Torque is transmitted to the rear drive wheels like in cars, that is, without the use of a chain drive. To increase ground clearance and traction, planetary onboard wheel reduction gears of our own production were used, providing for the possibility of installing spacers that increase ground clearance when using narrow tractor wheels from 50 to 80 centimeters. The FOG-3, which appeared three years ago, was created taking into account the experience in the production and operation of the two previous models. But not only, this is a machine of a new level in terms of technology, performance and even design, which was developed for it by the well-known design studio Artemy Lebedev in Russia and Europe. This is the heaviest model in the line, the ground pressure of which, when installing wide profile tires, increased to 0.6 kg per square centimeter. This is actually the limiting value for this kind of technology. Steering at FOG-3 with a hydraulic drive. The Japanese Kubota diesel engine used until 2022, which was no longer supplied to Russia due to sanctions, has been replaced with an analog from China. From it, the torque is transmitted to a 5-speed gearbox and transfer case, which are produced by the Russian automobile plant GOZ. The main gears on the two leading rear axles are no longer from the local Neva car, but are supplied from China. Self-locking cross-axle differentials are built into them. The differential lock in the transfer case is activated from the cab, which is also a new model. In order to reduce the curb weight, a spatial frame was used in the design of all three mists. And even the sprayer booms are not made of steel, but of aluminum. High ride smoothness, and hence high average speed on difficult terrain, is provided by a fully independent suspension with air suspension. Moreover, in order to maintain the most comfortable characteristics, its rigidity is electronically changed depending on the load. 
and it is also important to take into account that FOD3 is already a model for large agricultural holdings that need a larger, more productive and modern machine, and more modern means with the ability to integrate into the most advanced agricultural technologies including the system of so-called precision farming that is the cultivation of fields using automation and remote control. Previously, such systems were purchased abroad, which created huge problems for Russian users in 2022. But in 2023, Pegas Agro got its own computer system for automatic control and monitoring. In the cockpit, its control panel is located to the right of the steering column. This system ensures the accuracy of application at the level of Western analogs. And in conclusion, about the new plant, opened at the end of 2022. At the old plant, Pegas Agro could produce a maximum of 1,000 FODs annually. According to data for 2022, almost 900 of them were made. The new plant, whose production capacity is 2 to 2.5 times more, has already reached the production rate of 6 agricultural machines per day to day, which makes it possible to be sure that the production plan in 2023 will be met by about 1,200 FODs. The new plant is equipped with the most advanced Japanese CNC machines. Achieving a design capacity of 2,500 FODs is scheduled for 2025. True, some of this amount will fall on the latest FOD4, but I won't say anything about it today, this promising development is still a big secret. I wanted to put an end to this, but I decided to open up another area of work for the Pegas Agro Company. The fact is that Russian industrial enterprises have a long tradition to help enthusiasts in the restoration of rare equipment. So Pegas Agro remembered its aviation past and decided to help in the restoration of an aircraft from the Second World War. This is the famous ill 2 attack aircraft, nicknamed by Soviet soldiers a flying tank, and by German soldiers, Black Death. Its main feature was that the designers did not additionally armor the front fuselage, but immediately made it entirely from armor, thereby reducing weight. The work is the most difficult, in fact, little is left of the attack aircraft. But, everything is done according to factory drawings. It was decided to restore even the engine, and this is a very difficult task. So the plane will not stand like a monument on a pedestal, but will fly, and no worse than 80 years ago, 